Here we are in the third part of how to create a shooter video game using Adobe Flash CS4. We're working with ActionScript 2.0 and here's a look at what we've got so far. In part one we created our basic characters and added some coding. And in part two we animated those characters so our little octopi fly around and our spaceship has flames coming off of it. Now we're going to create a background. So go up to your timeline, create a new layer. I'm going to go ahead and name that background and I'm going to pull it down to the bottom of our layer order. Then I'm going to go over to the paint bucket, just pick a color, and I'm going to use the rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle. Make sure that your pencil is marked out so you don't have an outline around it. I'm going to go ahead and select it and I'm going to put a gradient on it. So I'll go up to window and select color. And when I select color, my color menu pops up and I'm going to change the type from solid to linear. Immediately I get a linear gradient that's black and white. So I can scroll around there and pick my first color and then bring the value up. I can also pick my second color. Let's start with a little pinkish purple there and pull that down to blue. Let's see how that looks. And that looks okay. Let's change that to green. Oh, looks like they're underwater a little bit. Let's go back to the purple. And there we go. Remember, you can always change this later if you don't like it. Now I'm going to go up to my gradient transform tool. I'm going to grab the little circle in the corner and I can rotate my gradient. And get it all the way around. I'll move some stuff out of the way. And then that little box in the middle, if you've never used this tool before, you can slide it back and forth. That makes your gradient either more severe or less severe. Let's see what our game looks at this point. Looks pretty good, but I think I like the dark on the top instead of on the bottom. So I'll just click on that again. Use the transform, flip it around. I think it looks a little bit better. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good. Our octopi aren't easily lost as before. All right, the next thing we wanna do is go into our library, right click, create a new symbol, and we're gonna create some clouds. So I'm gonna go ahead and name clouds, name it clouds, and make sure it's a movie clip. And then I'm just gonna draw some clouds. So I'll pick a, a light gray color, and I'm just gonna use my paintbrush. Make my brush are a little bit larger to save some time. And you can really put some time into this. This demonstration, I'm going really quick. So I'll just draw a quick cloud there. Color it in with the paint bucket. I'll draw another one back here. What we're going to do is we're going to create an animation of the clouds going from the right to the left. So it looks like our spaceship and our octopi are actually flying in the air instead of just floating around in that space. All right, now we're gonna go up to our timeline. We'll go down a few frames and we go to about, let's go way down here. I'm gonna go out quite a ways and I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna insert the keyframe. All right, now we'll go all the way back. Back up just a little bit so we can see because we're gonna make these guys really move. Now on this last keyframe, we want our clouds to be really far to the right. So I'm gonna go back to my first keyframe. I'm gonna select the clouds and I'm actually gonna move them way off to the right. You can grab all of them if you want. I'm just moving them one at a time. You notice when you get close to the edge, it gives you a little bit more room in there. I don't want that gray area to see you. space there. Alright, now I can scroll all the way back down to the keyframe that I had placed and you can see they're in our original position. Now I'm going to grab all of them and move them down a little bit further to the left. And then you can grab all of them if you want and I'm grabbing one at a time.
Now you want to go back into that gray space in between. Right click, you're going to create a classic twin. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow your clouds to look like they're floating past. All right, now we can go back to our main time or our main scene. And now we can just click and drag our cloud movie that we made to the stage. Get some of this stuff out of the way. There it is. So just pull it over here. You can see our clouds are pretty big. Move them off the stage. You're probably going to want this to start off the stage. I'm going to go up to modify and I'm going to transform that whole movie clip. Just make it a little bit smaller because our clouds are pretty big. Then we can take a look at what our game looks like now and you can see the clouds are floating past. And it gives that illusion that the our hero or our spaceship is actually flying. It's actually going forward instead of just floating there. And you might have saw that one cloud kind of disappear there. That's no good. So we've got to change things a little bit. I'm just going to double click inside of my movie clip and see where that happens. You can see that happens right there at the end. So to fix that, I'm going to grab these guys. And I'm just going to move them a little bit further to the left. That'll ensure that they get off the stage completely without disappearing. Look in the upper left hand corner and see if the cloud disappears again. That's the one we got to watch out for, and it makes it all the way across. So now we know that our movie clip is going to loop in the background. It's not going to have any weird stuff going on, like disappearing and stuff like that. So we're good to go there with the clouds. All right, now we want to have more than just those three little clouds floating by. So what we're going to do is we're going to recycle that clouds movie. And we're going to grab it from our library. And again, bring it to our stage. Well, just off the stage. And we'll set it up in position. And you don't have to recycle it. You can make a completely different movie and do it the same way. You can have all kinds of stuff going in the background. But you can see our second cloud movie we've brought in. We've got that top cloud going across the bottom. We just need to check and make sure there's no weird things that happen, like the cloud disappearing. And you can see that cloud just disappeared, so we're going to have to fix that. I'm just going to take our movie clip and slide it down a little bit further, just off stage. And let's see if that has fixed the problem, or if we need to do some more shifting around. And it looks like our movie clip has repeated and none of the clouds disappeared. So now we've got a background. <clears throat> you can be very creative with your background. So far, so good. In the next video tutorial, we'll add some sounds. Hope to see you then.